Students don't have to wait until they're adults to start solving the small problems and the big problems in our communities and in our world. And your classroom may be the best place for them to start. And even better, they can use those problems to get at some of the content and the curriculum that you wanted to cover anyway. In this video, we're gonna talk about a set of free curriculum resources that can help your students get to that important work of solving the problems that are important to them. I'm Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook. Let's get started. There are lots of problems out in the world to solve, whether they're close to home or far away, and there's a good chance that some of them are near and dear to the hearts of our students. And with a good problem-solving framework and with some good questions and some good discussion, our students can get into that work and cover the stuff that we wanna cover in our classrooms. Global Problem Solvers, the series, or GPS the series, is a free animated video series created to help students think through the problem solving process. It involves a group of teens with different skills and different skill sets, and they go about the process of finding problems that are important and following them through until they find a solution. Within the GPS, the series curriculum, there are all sorts of free resources that you and your students can use. All of the curriculum and resources work great for remote learning and in-person learning, and all of it is available online. For instance, there are two seasons of animated videos, seven episodes each, that walk students through a big problem and how the characters in the videos all go about solving them. There are detailed teacher guides that include storyboards to the videos and scripts, as well as questions to ask your students and all sorts of activities that go along with it. There are prompts and questions for rich classroom discussion. There are long-term projects that your students can engage in to be able to solve problems that they identify as important. There are worksheets to help them explore further, bonus videos with entrepreneurs, as well as some STEM lesson plans. And all of these resources are available in English, Spanish, French, and Hindi by going to gpstheseries.com. So what can we do with those resources? How can we get our students into this problem solving that's so important to them? I've got 10 ideas to share with you on how you can use these resources. Number one is to watch the videos with your students. Each of these series features seven videos. They're about three to five minutes long. They're just in that sweet spot, you know, where they're not so long that you can't just watch them in class and they're not so short that they're not helpful. They're just that right amount of time to be able to engage students and get them thinking about problem solving. And they feature this team of teenagers from all around the world with different strengths and specialties. It's really geared for fourth to eighth grade students, but these videos have been scaled up to older students and scaled down to younger students. In season one, Working Well, the team takes on a big problem. Drinking wells in Malawi, Africa aren't getting fixed and they need to come up with a solution. In season two, Storm Force, a massive hurricane hits the Gulf Coast of the United States, shutting down schools, and the team is tasked with getting students back to class. So show these videos to your students and immediately it's gonna spark the problem solving process and get them thinking about it. Number two is to think about problems that students can solve. There are likely all sorts of problems, big and small, within your school and school district and within your community. Of course, there are bigger problems in the greater world in general. But the ones that are in your community and in your school are probably the ones that are touching your students the most and that they have the most power to solve. And so helping them to explore those kinds of problems gives them the perfect material to try problem solving on their own. And it also helps them to see in concrete ways how their problem solving can make changes in their own community. Number three is to incorporate the nine steps of social entrepreneurship. These are some of the steps that are used in all of the videos. And they're the kinds of things that an entrepreneur would use to think through a problem and how they might solve it. And it includes things like articulate the problem, surround yourself with experts, incorporate technology to connect, test and refine the solution. 
It's one of those problem solving frameworks that are used in the real world. And through the resources with GPS, the series, it shows students how they can use that very same process to solve their own problems. Number four is to teach students about storytelling. Of course, if we want to make big change, we probably need to recruit support, get other people to help us. And if we want other people to help us, there's influence that goes with that. And of course, one of the greatest ways to be able to influence is through communication. And storytelling is huge. Storytelling is the way that our brains are wired. And it's the way that, you know, for centuries, we've passed information along and have done learning. And the curriculum resources in GPS, the series, help students to tackle some of those important elements of storytelling. You know, things like character development, inciting incidents, metaphor, humor, turning points, resolution. They get to see how all of those play together and how they can use it to help people to see the change that they want to make in the world. Number five is to introduce design thinking concepts. Design thinking is the process that a designer would use to help come up with a problem and then find a solution. And the resources in GPS, the series, boil it down into three simple steps that you and your students can follow. There's discover, try to understand the world around them and how it's all interconnected. There's define, identify a specific problem to solve. And then there's explore, work through the possible solutions and being able to persevere and learn through the inevitable complications that are going to happen. Number six is to infuse your own curriculum. You might be looking at some of these uh, problem solving activities and these bigger um, projects that your students might wanna tackle to solve a big problem. And you might think, I just don't have time to add that to my already full curriculum. And the truth is, is that there are ways that you can infuse your own curriculum, you know, the concepts and the ideas that you want students to learn throughout the year into the problem solving process. For instance, use some of the discussion prompts from GPS the series to practice some of the writing skills from your curriculum. And you could create story problems with the plot and the characters from GPS the series to support your math curriculum. This could work with science too, as well as any of the STEM subjects. There are all sorts of ways that you can pull the curriculum that you want to teach into the problem solving process. And of course, when you do that, as students learn about them, it becomes meaningful because they're solving problems that are important to them. Number seven is to lead meaningful discussions. And we know that sometimes the way to change people's worldviews and their beliefs is to have a great discussion. And the driving part behind a meaningful discussion is a great prompt. You know, when you have a great question or a hypothetical situation, sometimes students use that and they form these discussions with their classmates and that's where the real work of changing people's minds happens. And what's great is the curriculum in GPS the series has all sorts of questions and discussion prompts. It guides you through how the conversation might go so that you're not going in blind. And sometimes even just taking one simple little question out of those prompts can open up a world of conversation. And the nice thing is, is that a lot of these discussion prompts and questions can be used over and over and over again throughout any sort of problem solving process that you and your students go into. Number eight is students share solutions. Once students come to a solution, to a problem that's important to them, the last thing we want to do is keep that trapped in the four walls of our classrooms. We want to get it out to the people who make decisions and the influencers, the people who can actually do something about it. So being able to share students' work with an authentic audience can be huge. It could mean meeting with leaders in the community and in the school district to share what they've learned and to share the solutions that they propose. It could be going on social media, the school social media, class social media, or whomever to be able to spread the word. It could be getting connected with someone who's an expert in the field just so the students are able to share with someone who understands. Or it could be designing a website where students put all of their findings so that anybody's able to find it out on the web. Number nine is to add bonus STEM lessons. Whenever students watch the videos in GPS the series, they're gonna see the characters engaging in problem solving. And if students want to do the same kinds of activities, you know, engage in the same kind of work, there are free STEM lessons within the curriculum that your students can use to be able to do that. You know, like building a machine that can pump water during an emergency, just like they do in the first series. 
or researching and designing the solar power system like they used for the mobile classroom in the second one. So there are all of these great lessons with lesson plans designed by science buddies that can help your students engage in that kind of work in your own classroom. And number 10 is to connect students with real change makers. You know, these are the entrepreneurs and the people who are actually doing the work. And within the curriculum of GPS, the series, they have all of these video interviews where there are entrepreneurs, uh, young and old, who are doing the kind of problem solving that your students are learning about so that they can see the kind of work that it takes to solve these problems. Another thing you could do in addition to that is to reach out to entrepreneurs, problem solvers, you know, people who are making this change out in the real world to see if maybe they'll do a video call with your class. Maybe they can jump into the same shared document and swap ideas. Or maybe they can even just answer some questions through email. And sometimes whenever your students get connected to real life people who are doing the work, it makes it feel less abstract and more real. So there you have it, lots of free resources that you can use with your students to do that problem solving work. So head to gpstheseries.com to get your hands on all of those free resources. Mm -hmm.